Hi guys, this is Maria. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you sensory activities for toddlers and preschoolers that are perfect for springtime, just because a lot of them are quite messy and you can do them outdoors. I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old, so these activities are perfect for any of these ages. If you love content of this kind, make sure to click that subscribe button. I have the whole playlist of activities for children, Montessori at home, and post these videos quite frequently. And now, let's do it. Our first project was homemade kinetic sand. All you need is six cups of sand, two cups of cornstarch, two tablespoons of dish soap and three fourth cup of water you add the dish soap to the water first you mix the sand and the cornstarch then you pour in the dish soap with water you can add a little bit less a little bit of more of water just depends on what kind of consistency you want to achieve we were really happy with it it felt almost like a play-doh one of the reasons i chose this specific recipe was because it was supposed to be reusable i don't think i could consider it reusable just because when i tried to reuse it and added a little more water it messed up the proportions and the quality wasn't the same we also added some food coloring which was super fun to mix the two of them and it was such a great play you can do treasure hunts with it but honestly all we did is just used some play-doh shapes cut it and played with it For this next set of sensory projects, we used shaving foam. I bought it at Target. We also had food coloring, glitter, and these art bottles I picked up at Hobby Lobby quite a while ago in their art section. They're great because they have the droplets. So I squeezed out the shaving cream into the dish and we started decorating. Um, the color was very light because of the gel food coloring. So we actually ended up squeezing the food coloring itself inside there and achieved this marble effect. For the older children, you can actually do artwork with the food color and you actually can use also watercolors if you would like but i would say food coloring was we were very happy with the result with scarlet we created cupcakes for the cupcake shapes i used the coffee filters they were getting a little messy but we figured out how to shape them and she really enjoyed that sensory play now it is messy especially if you're using the gel food coloring it can stay in your hands can stay wherever you're wearing but it is a lot of fun for the topping we used art sand that we had left over and sprinkled it with some glitter We built up on this activity quite a bit. I ended up using my icing bags to decorate the cupcakes. What is cool about sensory activities is that every child will respond differently to materials that you're presenting. For the first time I did slime with scratch, I didn't want to touch it. Baby Justin wasn't so wild about the shaving foam. So you have to try it all to figure out what works best for your kids specifically. We totally loved shaving foam. I think it's going to be our staple. And look at our final result. Actually, we after we were done with our cupcakes, we just, you know, got into a messy play and took it a step further. I've actually filled in the pool with shaving foam and added uh, some balls, some cards, to it in hopes that baby Justin is gonna love that a little more but the kids went totally crazy by the way I still have a giveaway running on my channel in the video link on the screen here and also in the description below it's running through May 1st so you still can enter and win this next project is a homemade chalk paint it's pretty self-explanatory all you need is some chalk uh, also I've used a bottles that I squeeze top on them um, they typically sold in the baking section in any of the craft stores that's where I buy a lot of things for my activities and then we crushed the chalk I used three different colors I used two bottles and a cup because I wanted to use a brush as well one of the greatest fun for kids in sensory activities is setting up for them as well so make sure to include your little ones when you are doing this baby Justin had fun chopping up the chalk Put it in, mixing it in, and seeing the result. What is cool about this chalk paint, it's not going to stain your concrete. It's really lightly colored, but it's a lot of fun to draw with nonetheless. You can show your kids all kinds of things to do. When I brought out the brushes, it's pretty much water painting at that point, and you can add so many different things to this fun. Our 
last sensory activity that I want to share with you are pinecone bird feeders. It gives your child an opportunity not only to use utensils but also feel the bird seed. We used millet uh, and for my recipe I used peanut butter. So all you need is pine cones, uh, you need something that you're gonna tie it on, some kind of string, a device to transfer the peanut butter on the pine cone and the bird feed. I used millet as I mentioned because that's something that I had on hand. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to stick around and be part of our family and say hi if you're new in the comments below.